hello guys so let's begin by opening up this thread i will give you the link uh, this thread is created by abhishek and look uh, so here you can see two versions so there is link in the thread i will give you the link you have to download the zip file and place it into the root of your sd card do not create any folder in your root we are going to combine the two methods for twrp users and the no, uh, stock users so first we have to get into the uh, fast boot mode so press volume up key and the power button so the volume up key and the power button we have to press this keys together to get into the fast boot mode now we have to plug our usb which is connected to our PC or laptop. Now we have to install ADB drivers to flash TWRP. TWRP uh, we are going to use to install the zip file, which is the firmware. So right click and click on open. Now it will open a CMD. You can see enter Y. Press Y and enter. Again the same thing again do the same thing now click on finish now it will create adb drivers in c so go to c and copy all this and paste it in our folder i will give you the link in the description of the folder which i have used Now we have to open the command prompt here. So type cmd. It will open command prompt. Now we have to check if our device is connected or not. So type fastboot space devices. So you can see one device is connected. Now we have to flash our recovery. So type flashboot space flash space recovery space the name of the recovery that is twrp write t and press tab now it is flash recovery so you can see recovery is flashed now we have to reboot our device now remove the usb cable and remove your battery also and put back in again That's it. Now we have to get into the recovery mode. To get in the recovery mode, we have to press the volume down and the power key together. Now you can release the power key and the volume down key. Now it will open our recovery that is TWRP which we have just installed. Now click on install. Now go to SD card. The firmware which we have download, downloaded from the XGA thread that is back to stock. The size of the firmware is 1.3 GB. Now it will take some time to flash the image. I will just pause here my video and get back in as soon as I finished flashing the image. There, uh, there were two uh, links in the XDA thread. You can see you can download any of this zip file. I have downloaded dot one point two one two three four dot zip. It's the latest one. It's the latest firmware. It take about five minutes or so to flash the image. The size of the zip file is 1.3 gigs. Now press wipe cache and swipe. 
now we have to press the back button and go back into the main screen onto the main screen now we have to wipe our data and the cache so click on wipe click on advanced wipe click data cache and dalvik cache now swipe to wipe now reboot our system do not install super su it will take about 10 minutes to boot up so have some patience Do not remove your battery while the process is going on. It can cause boot loop. So let's uh, the system boot. It will take some time. so the system is booted and you can see the default firmware which you get with the device now i'll connect to my wifi network you can next next now you have to just follow the on screen instructions and that's it you will have your device unbreaked unrooted and the bootloader will be locked so just complete the initial setup your name last name I will do this later I will skip the initial setup and that's it you can see the home screen of your device you can see the latest firmware dot 1234 that's the lollipop version thank you that's it thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe